You guys like that merch? You guys like what you see? Yeah? You know where to find it. First link down below. Today, guys, I'm going to react into a video uh, that is called Why Tati and Jeffree Star Are Losing Subscribers. Why did I even do this? Like, why did I say it like that, dude? Like, I'm not a singer. I'm not even, I've never done opera in my life. But if you guys want to hire me to go to your local birthday party to sing opera, be my guest. The ads are not that good lately. So yes, be my guest. Here's why Tati and James are losing subscribers. If you didn't see James Charles' new video, yes, we've all seen it, bro. He basically explained everything. Yeah, we've all seen it, bro. All right, let's see that, bro. Show me, bro. It literally made Oh my god, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay yet again. You know, it's really <laughs> yeah. disgusting. I love what she says, yet again. <laughs> to manipulate someone's sexuality, especially when they are still, you know, emerging into adulthood. First of all, I'm a 19 year old virgin. I talk about boys quite a lot on my social media networks. Clearly at this point, and it's not acceptable anymore. We're talking about that in a little bit. I've never. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is kind of funny when you think about it. How Tati was talking about how Jake, uh, I mean, how James Charles manipulates or uh, makes straight boys feel like they're not straight anymore who are literally the same age as James. She's saying they're young and you're manipulating them, James. James, they're not adults like you. I guarantee you, half of them are older than damn James Charles, bro. Would never and will never use my fame money or power but but by me making that point I'm not saying I'm taking Tati's side or James side I'm still very unclear and at this point where I'm at I really don't care anymore like I'm at the point where James Charles is in the wrong and Tati's in the wrong for some things like I I, I don't even know where to go from here you know or get any sexual actions from a guy that is disgusting it is not me and the fact that Tati brought this up blows my mind. Yeah, she was talking about the waiter in uh, Seattle. Tati completely missed the key points of the story, what actually happened. Sam said he was bisexual, everything was consensual, and James did not walk Sam in the hotel room. When you basically trap Sam in your hotel room in Seattle. No, dude, like 100% how I know that's wrong is because Sam from Seattle even uploaded a video about this, basically saying he was curious about his sexuality, right? He wanted to see what it was like to hook up with James Charles or whatever, and he never, ever, ever in his whole video mentioned anything about being trapped inside of a hotel room. So for Jeffrey to say something like that is like, that's a little fishy, dude. Even Sam said himself that he said yes to everything. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Sam literally agreed to everything James Charles wanted, dude. Everything. Exactly. He didn't say one thing about getting locked up in a hotel room. So I, I don't know why James Charles would come up with a, I mean not James Charles, Jeffree Star would come up with a statement like that. It makes no sense. Another reason why Jeffrey is losing subscribers is because of the tweet to Ian. Why is your brother a predator? Why do you really move back to NYC? Uh, shut the effers up. Yeah, okay, so basically guys, we're gonna wrap up that video right now though. So basically, this all comes down to um, what Jeffrey Star said on Twitter, what Tati has said. So. That now, this is why I'm 50-50, okay? This is why I believe some of the stuff James says, some of the stuff Jeffrey says, some of the stuff Tati says, because it has actually now been proven that some of the stuff Jeffrey has said has been the truth. Some of the stuff Jeffrey has said has been the truth. And along with Tati, some of the stuff she said has been the truth. But the thing is, all three of them have been truthful in different ways. Now, it's also been proven that all three of them have lied about different parts of the story. So who do you believe? You know what I'm saying? When they've all been truthful about certain parts, but 
they've all also lied about certain parts. Who do you believe at the end of the day? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't know whose story to believe. I don't know what to go off of or anything. All right, so that's all, that's all I'm gonna say, dude. I'm wrapping up the video. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Have a great day. Peace.